Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will show you how we have created energy and utility dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing, this is the overview page of this dashboard and here we are showing the total output in MW megawatt and this is the efficiency percentage of the facilities and total downtime hours, total emissions which is the tons of the CO2 generated and this is active facilities count. Then we are showing some other information like number of facilities by the facility type, facilities by month, facilities by regions. We have taken five regions here, then facilities by status and facilities by energy source. We are showing two different panel of slicers also. Here on the left hand side we have the slicer pan and on the right hand side also we have the slicer pans. We are showing the slicer for the energy source, facility type, department, region and status. You can select any energy source also. Let's say I want to see the information for coal only or hydro or nuclear or solar or thermal. So you can decide that accordingly the whole dashboard will be filtered okay you can select by department also if you want then you can see the everything is getting changed and you can see the relevant information so this is totally interactive and dynamic dashboard and you can see the information as you want we are showing the some other pages also like if you want to see the production and output just click on this so now here we are showing the productions versus target also. We have taken the target also in the MW. We have displayed that here target versus actual output by the facility type. So we have these type of facility type. We can see maximum we are getting from the power plant and then hydro station. And here we are showing the actual versus target output in MW by energy source. So maximum we are getting by the wind energy, then nuclear, then hydro, coal, solar and thermal. This is some sample and dummy data. You can replace this data with your original one. I will show you how you can change this data and you can how you can replace uh, the data with your own data. Then we are showing here actual versus target uh, which is by month and here we are showing you can see the month on month productions. Then I will show you the downtime and maintenance part also and here we are showing the month on month downtime in hours. Now uh, we are showing the downtime by the facility type also as well as we are showing the downtime by department also. If you want to see any specific energy source downtime like I want to see for the call then you can see everything is getting changed and here also. Okay then you can filter it by department also or you can filter it by region also okay in which region you want to see so totally it will be dynamic and you can see your data in 360 view now let's go to the next page and here we are showing the environment and co2 generation and we can see here this is the emission intensity we are showing how much co2 we are generating in terms of the output in comparison of the output okay and here the total co2 generated by the energy source and here total co2 generated by the facility type then next is the efficiency and the risk so we are showing the efficiency percentage by the energy source and then we are showing the efficiency percentage by the region and here we are showing the efficiency percentage by the facility type Okay, you can see it by department also just click and everything will be changed by the department. If you want to see the total number by the department, you can just come here and you can see these all efficiency percentage by the department then overall will appear here on the overview page. But drill down we have created on the separate pages. All right. Now I will show you the data and the other part like how we have created this. So first let me go to the file and options and here go to the advance and just scroll it down and just check this option that is so C tab and it is available under the display option for this workbook. Just check this and click on OK. So we can see all the C tabs here that is production output downtime and maintenance okay everything is appearing here and you can remove the slicer from here now we can see this is the support sheet this is the data sheet and this is the support sheet okay 
in the data sheet we are showing facility type first then facility name energy source then facility type here and then this is the region department status start date and then we are showing here output in megawatt target in megawatt downtime hours then co2 and then here we are showing the intensity of the co2 so that is turns divided by megawatt basically we are putting here the formula co2 divided by this output okay and then energy this is the efficiency percentage we have put the formula efficiency percentage is output divided by target here we are showing the month which is we have created from the start date using the tax function you can see and then here we are showing the year so this is what we have created uh, in the data and you can replace this data with your one you can delete this just keep the headers here and just put your own data and once you add your data you can just go to the data tab and just click on the replace uh, refresh all so all the charts and the whole dashboard will be refreshed according to your data now let me show you the support sheet on the support sheet we have created the various pivot table to create the charts and graphs here okay so we have created this all pivot table these are small pivot table to create the cards here on the top five cards so let me show you how we have created that one also i will show you and then these are the some other pivot table to create the charts okay and we have highlighted this is for the overview okay so you can easily identify for the overview we have created these all pivot tables and for the other page like production and output we have created some other pivot tables for production and output then here we have put this separation like pivot table for downtime and maintenance so this is for the downtime and maintenance the three pivot table then here the next page and then here the next page okay so we have created this so easily you can see in the support sheet also if you want to make some changes you can make the changes also now let me show you how we have created this type of cards so what we have done let's insert a new sheet and here just go to the view and remove the grid lines and we have built some background color let's say we are taking here some gray color this one and then you can just insert the shape like we have inserted here so just insert the rectangle shape and we have taken let's say this shape and just drag this here like this now just pick this yellow handle and move to the right hand side like this and then you can change the color of this let's say we are taking this light color here now let's make the duplicate of this control d and just make this smaller and let's keep this here pick the yellow handle and move to the right hand side so we will match the corner radius with the existing one and we will select both and make sure there should not be any outline so say no outline now we will pick this here and we will fill some dark color let's say i'm taking this color here okay so that is how we have created this type of design and then you can put the title here like you can edit this like this is the energy dashboard and you can increase this font size slightly okay so that is how we have created this one then to create these top section this is the totally different uh, rectangles we have created so you can simply insert or you can reduce the font size for this one so let's insert a normal rectangle again or you can make the duplicate of this one also let's make it duplicate remove the text from here and you can make this smaller like this so we have created this like this and let's fill some different color let's say this one then you can keep this here okay and then you can go to the save format save effects and you can choose some preset here like preset 4 3 5 whatever you want so we have taken this 4 or you can take some other also okay so preset 4 and then from the save effects and then shadow and just say none okay so that is how we have created this first one and then you can just make this duplicate control d and you can put that here for the other one just fill the white color or little like this one 
okay so you can decide which color you want to take then you can make the duplicate and you can keep this here and you can add the text here edit text like this is overview font size reduce this okay so that is how we have created and once it is created you can press ctrl k and then go to the place in this document and just select the overview okay now if i click here it will take me to the overview page so that is how we have created the linking between the different seats friends if you want to learn more about the dashboards charts and pivot tables how we can create such type of uh, dashboard in microsoft excel you can join our udemy course we have given the link in the video description box so you can uh, go to that link and you can enroll our course at the discounted price in the course we have explained each and everything in detail how to create the cards how to create the charts using the pivot tables and we are giving all the practice file inside the that course so you can download the practice file to do the practice with me inside the course all right friends so the the link of the course is given in the video's description box so friends uh, you can join that course to learn more about this type of dashboard so that's it uh, friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching